Chimeras. Not the excellent metal band Chimera, but the actual part human, part animal hybrid creatures. It's a real thing going on and it's trippy. In Greek mythology, the word chimera refers to a fire-breathing creature that's part snake, part lion, and part goat. But in science, the chimera is not like a fantasy creature. It's a real biological entity with cell populations originating from two or more creatures of the same or different species. So some of the crazy, crazy stuff is going on putting cells in monkey brains in Russia people are trying to I think it's in Russia maybe China regardless trying to make cows that produce human milk so that way people can buy breast milk from stores all sorts of stuff so by putting human stem cells into the embryos of animals, scientists hope to grow new organs for people with faltering kidneys and hearts. And Yale University once did an experiment in 2007 where they put human stem cells into five monkeys to observe its effects on Parkinson's disease. And they did get some interesting results from it. The monkeys that suffered from the disease could eat and walk much better than before, and they had fewer problems with the tremors. So it was promising results. And apart from the improved response to the disease, the human neural cells migrated into the monkeys' brains and altered how they function. And this caused a little bit of concern, but according to the researchers, the behavior wasn't changed enough because the number of cells wasn't large enough but that led you know some thinking of oh if they step that up how much of the monkey's brain would really become human we got some planet of the apes stuff going on there and that experiment a similar one happened with mice where its brain did kind of become half human so by injecting a smaller number of human cells into mice researchers have created mice hybrids with practically half human brains and as expected these hybrid mice are smarter and perform better in tests for cognition and memory scientists claim that giving mice a type of immature human brain cell called a glial cell resulted in their brains growing differently so they became more human-like. Dun dun dun! Hide your cheese! While the hybrid mice still had their own neurons, the cells that store and transmit information in the brain were almost entirely human. The results have raised the prospect that it may be possible to inject animals with human brain cells to make them smarter. So we got monkeys with human brains, mice with human brains. We're trying to set up our own apocalypse where the animals take revenge. Now another crazy thing is the, the half-human rabbit. In 2003, scientists from Shanghai successfully grew human cells inside rabbit eggs. The embryos were growing with more human DNA than rabbit DNA. They claim that they never let them grow for more than a few days before terminating the experiment. So who knows what would have come of these human-rabbit hybrids. It reminds me of that new show that came out on Netflix, um, Sweet Tooth, where all the kids being born, being born part animal in varying degrees, some more animal than human. It's, it's a pretty good show. And it definitely, whoever made the show, 
they're they're into some conspiracy stuff there's a lot of good stuff in there so go watch sweet tooth and now one of the more controversial experiments that many think that this is a false claim out of china but there's a lot of old newspaper articles about this from back in the 60s and 70s and some documentation from China. But yeah, one of the more controversial chimeras is the half-human, half-chimpanzee that two scientists from China created back in 1967. They claimed that they had found a way to impregnate a chimp with human sperm but this experiment was cut short due to the cultural revolution that was going on at the time, which caused the scientists to be sent to labor farms, which ultimately led to the three month pregnant chimp dying from neglect. So that's some crazy stuff. There you go. I, if they're able to make mice have half human brains, I'm sure there's probably some way to make an embryo that's inside of something be part human because it's been done successfully in these various experiments, but supposedly all these experiments are ended before these beings are born. So that that's just a crazy, crazy thing where at what limit is something enough to be considered human? Like for animals, if we're growing human organs inside of animals, then like at what point do they have more of like a human consciousness? Is that really in our brain or are we really like organ harvesting? I don't know. That's some some crazy stuff. Oh, another, another crazy one, which here's a beautiful picture, Oop. is of the human ear growing on the back of a mouse. So back in the 90s, a bizarre photo of a mouse with an ear on its back surfaced, and these weren't fake images, they were, it was an ear grown from cow cartilage that this mouse became known as the ear mouse, very original. And they had somehow used the cow cartilage to create like the scaffolding and then stem cells or something to grow this human ear on the back of a mouse, which the intent was to see if they could do that for human transplants. So, yeah, that's some crazy stuff. All right, everyone. Well, there you go. Buy my merch, subscribe, share, subscribe to me on all the music streaming stuff. Buy my music, it plants trees. Stream my music, it plants trees. Buy my merch, it plants trees. Make me ridiculously wealthy. Goodbye. Inquire within. Inquire within. Inquire within. Inquire within. Reveal the UFO cover up. Revealing the entire UFO cover up. Okay, they're gonna they're gonna reveal it one song at a time. Big. They're sending all the fans who sign up for a mail list a stack of real fucking government UFO files. Don't give up. Don't give up on making the life that you want to see. Psychedelic alien rock and roll. They got the best UFO footage and government document evidence there is, all right? Real shit, okay? For your safety, put on the tinfoil hat. I'm Tyrone, and I need all you motherfuckers to listen up and listen up good. Now, when it comes to UFOs and aliens and shit, and the government covering up all kinds of shit and you think you've seen some shit or heard some shit or know about some LEs and shit well guess what, you're right fuck all that hiding and shit the inquiry within is the best place to be to find out about all that 
So if you want to know about aliens and UFOs and the government covering it up, then inquire within is where your ass need to be at. What you waiting for, man? Don't meet me there, beat me there, I already know. Take your ass there. Fuck all that. So go to inquirewithinofficial.com and stop playing.